Yeah, I think I think that's it. You know what? In 10 seconds, I think I'm gonna count down 10 seconds to release the game. Okay. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, man, I really like that uh, people liked. A lot of people d did say that it was fun, so uh, thanks a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna count down for the for the release of the game, right? Uh, how many of you guys released a game on Steam before? That would be pretty cool to know. Like, uh, when I first released my game on Steam, I was like super nervous. This game is really just for fun, so even if everything explodes in the web, it makes it impossible for me to press this button. I think that will be fun uh, still, so... It's good. Even though now it's really easier than it was like 10 years ago, or 5 years ago, or like 2 years ago, <laughs> when I released my other game, because that was like green light at that point. Uh, even though it's like way easier, it's still really cool to have a game on Steam and it feels awesome. So let's count down. Okay, so uh, 10, 9, uh, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, okay, I think nothing happened. Could you hear the sound? I pressed the button. I think I'm gonna have to press again. Oh my god, the button is not working! Is this... Okay, okay, so... <laughs> when I pressed the button... It, th things appeared down here, so I didn't actually see it because I, I have like super zoom. Yeah. <laughs> False start. Yeah, call it. <laughs> so you were right. You're 100% right, man. You you've been calling a lot of, a lot of things correctly. Maybe you can guide, maybe you can give like numbers for like the lottery or something, right? Because your calls were like perfect. <laughs> Press the button and it appeared down here. Okay, so use the publish now button. Okay, so it's not, it's not the release that button. That's not the important button. The important button is publish now. We'll immediately make your game publicly. You make your product available for our customers to purchase, download, and play. Now, in this case, it's free, so no one's gonna uh, purchase the game, right? Don't push this button until the moment you are ready. Is this the moment we are ready? This is awesome. <laughs> it's funny because in my other game, I was so nervous and not, not like lighthearted. You really have to approach these things, important things, like really hard, lightheartedly. And for this game, also I have like a plan for what to do in the next couple of weeks. Like, I'm gonna do like a source code walkthrough. I'm gonna do, I forgot, but I have everything written down. So everything's cool, man. Everything is like awesome. Here are the actions that will be performed in the process of release. See, so if we made that program to press the button uh, automatically, for like press one awesome button, we wouldn't we would have missed, right? We wouldn't have released. So it's not the same thing. You have to press one button at a time, and there are like two buttons. Uh, here are the actions that will be performed. If you wish to execute any store packages, exclude, right? Uh, please deselect. We don't want to deselect everything. So. The primary package, that's the package, it's hidden, it's gonna be hidden, right, because it's like free, so, but it's gonna be public, so to speak. It's stressful enough to press one button, but they wanted to press two. <laughs> well, it depends. Like I said, man, when I first released the game, my other game, like, two years ago, I was like super nervous, because, oh, is that gonna work? How, how much the game gonna sell? And I kind of, I, I was kind of expecting the game not to sell anything at all. And it didn't, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, you also, you also kind of, you have to have a certain expectation, even though it's like if it's like no expectation, right? So everything is how, how you deal with it, like. So yeah, that's the thing, man. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna count to ten. Hopefully I'm gonna count better this time, and then hopefully this button, right, will will actually do what we want it to do. So steps will be playable on Steamworks, will be released. And the, the store page will be public and date down to now. Okay, so that's what we want. This is the moment. This is the moment. You are correct. So, 10, again, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't know if there will be another button. I don't know. Well, there is another button. There is another button. There are three buttons. <laughs> I guess people... People on Steam, there's a third part. People really want to make sure that you really want to release the game, right? Because maybe, you are not sure, maybe you press like release now, release my, my app, I want to do it, let's do it now, and maybe uh, you're not, you don't want to release the game. But, uh, well, 
I think I think this is the last button because usually it's three. Like, like in a game where there's like a quick time event or something, like there's like a huge door and I have to kick it open. Like so, like kick, and then nothing happens. Then you kick again and nothing happens. But the third time, so the third button is the button. I can already smell the cake. Can you guys smell the cake? Maybe maybe I'll give you guys time to to go get some cake so we can all eat cake at the end. I don't know if the cake is alive or not, but hopefully. We can celebrate. Oh, Valve kick out to three. Half-Life 3 confirmed. I don't know, man. This button is not like active, so maybe Half-Life 3 is not in active development. I think that's the thing. It, it can't count like through three full buttons. So yeah, so this button doesn't work. I have to I have to say please release my app. Yeah. Third time's the charm. It is true. And it's funny because this is my second release on Steam. And uh, now I wanna I wanna do like smaller games. Not release on Steam like for a time, and then do a bigger game release that on Steam. So hopefully, third time is going to be the charm for me as well in terms of release because this game is going to be free. So I don't expect to be like to be successful or anything like that. This is just for fun, just for you guys to learn, just for me to learn. Uh, but maybe next game, which my third third serious release, uh, maybe that'll be the, the the charm, right? That could be cool as well. So release my app, please. Okay, so I can't ask, please. I just have to say release my app. Uh, they build your anticipation just to reconfirm your excitement, just to make sure what you are committing yourself to. That's the thing. But uh, if you haven't planned for this day, and this is a small game, like two months, right? And just for fun, a free game and stuff. And I already playing a lot of stuff for this game. If you're doing like a more serious game where you really care about the release, you probably plan this like way ahead of time. And also have like what you're going to do next setup. And that's the problem. When I release my other game, I, I felt so empty and depressed. I didn't actually know what to do, right? Because I was just making that game for like three and a half years. And then when I released, I was like, okay, what do I do now? If you don't have a plan bef uh, for after the release, not only the game's gonna suffer, but you're gonna suffer as well. So I did suffer a lot. I was like, for like a couple of weeks, really, oh my God, what, what, I do, what, what, what am I gonna do with my life? Because the game didn't sell anything. So I couldn't, I couldn't keep making what I was making because I really wanted to change something. I really had to change something, right? In terms of like the way I was doing the game, games and stuff. So, so yeah, it is to build up the end. So, so uh, that experience is really different from this one. This one's really cool. So I hope you guys are all on board because I now believe that this is the last button. And when we press this button, it will be available on Steam. You guys can download. Okay, and then we can play together. I, I am going to, to, you know, make the blog post. Maybe I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to play a little bit. Then I'm going to do like the blog post and stuff. This is it. Okay, so this is it. You called it. You've been right all the time. I, I still, I, I asked you for like the lottery numbers, man. Because you've been right. You said this is it. So this is it. No, you can't go back now. I'm going to count to, I'm going to count to three this time. No, I'm going to count to, to ten because I'm getting better at this. Okay, so let's go, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay, it's loading, has, has to load, right? Otherwise, you, now this is the real anticipation, right? Because like, okay, maybe there'll be a weird error. Maybe people are gonna hate my game. Oh, this is like, this is really bad, man. I don't remember this. I, I must have really died when I found this. It's going to, it's taken a long time, to be honest. Wow, you know, time out, <laughs> yeah, connection timed out. <laughs> if you're excited, it's, okay, no, so this is it. So this was that was not for the faint of heart. So I think that's it, man. All publishing tasks have been complete. Well, but I do have the release app button again. <laughs> Your application is not visible on Steam Store. It worked, or did it work? The load time, though. Yeah, I don't know, man. I do have another release app. I think I think if I press F five, probably gonna disappear this button. But I want to click this button again just for the fun of it. I, I want to kind of glitch Steam, so maybe it can release like twice. I don't know if that that'll work. But it says it's now visible. Uh, it may take up to 10 minutes for a product to appear uh, in the new releases. But you can view your store page immediately by following the link. So let's see the store page. And uh, hopefully it will not be... Can someone I post the link to the game? I can post the link immediately for you. This is the game. This is the game we just released. And it is released. So it's free. You can now you can play the game. I mean, you could play the game before, right? On HIO, but now it's on Steam. 
we released it, and that's my second Steam release. It's awesome. The second one's really more fun. Just live stream. I, I really regret. I mean, live streaming was such a, wasn't such a big thing when I released the other game, but it was pretty big actually. But it wasn't that big. If I, I really wished I would have live streamed that game. Uh, not only it's more fun, but it really approaches more more like soft hearted, like light hearted. That, that's what I mean. I mean, I can, I can just I can barely remember, but that wait, that uh, event loading, like for like one minute or so, must have been like must have been really painful for me <laughs> because I was scared to death, and uh, and oh man, uh, it was really hard because like I said, I was like way way above my head at that. At that point, so uh, I had so many errors. Like I did certification on the PS4, and I actually had no idea what I was doing. So it was really hard. It was like uh, I tried one thing, there was an error. Then there was another thing, and then keep trying weird things, right? But uh, but I'm gonna try to release the app again. So let's see. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna click this button again. We know that this is only the first out of three buttons, just like Half Life is the first out of three games, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try to release the app again. Okay, so nothing happens. So the app, the app is already released. I'm gonna press F5, and I think we are good to go. Yes, we are good to go. It says hidden, but uh, for free apps, it says to remain hidden even after release. So we're gonna have to deal with the hidden. It's kind of sad because the price is free. The price is free. So the app is released. App is released, dude. We already released. So it was awesome, man. I mean, I have now documented on my YouTube channel. You can go to my uh, Making a Game and See from Scratch. I love how the system graphic grab No need. <laughs> There's no need for graphics. <laughs> Every release. Hello. How are you doing? No launch discount. I'm sorry. I you know I should have done like negative. Discounts just like we have like negative interest rates. We should have like negative discounts for release for this game. So so actually the launch price will be minus 10%. Actually minus minus 10%. So you would actually have to pay uh zero. Congratulations. Thanks, man. You're doing great. Awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> I, I had the option of adding a launch discount. But I didn't even try. I should have tried it just for fun, just to see what would happen. See, w w double negative pricing, exactly. <laughs> when you approach this lightheartedly, uh, it's really fun. Just do the the cake smell is killing me. The cake smell is like crazy. Oh my god, there will be cake in the end. I don't know. I don't know if there will be cake. If you guys want to peek on the cake, I don't know. Maybe the cake will not be a lie. Uh, five megabytes. Yeah. Oh. So you guys are making fun about the no graphics, right? So, I think uh, answering this guy on the Hemi Network saying that uh, the game will not show, uh, the live streams will not show how to make uh, hardware rendering. Maybe this guy's disappointment was your happiness because I could then uh, just say no need for graphics. All you need is like a, a, a potato. Any potato you have lying around. <laughs> but it has to be a 64-bit potato. <laughs> we couldn't make this game 32-bit like pretty easily, but uh, there's really no need at, at this point. So you have a, uh, need a 64-bit potato, okay, as a minimum requirement. Yeah, and five megabytes. You need, you need. Uh, I said, I said 10 megabytes here because I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe you only have like five megabytes on your PC available. And then Windows is going to download a 10 gigabyte update. So in this case, I asked for 10 megabytes so that there's like a line here or something. Yeah. So I asked for nobody was exactly, man. Nobody was 32 bit anymore. I mean, so, but it's weird because the CPU is pretty much higher than 32 bits still. And uh, so are like a lot of Windows stuff. So yeah, you guys probably have to leave it overnight downloading the game because it's like have to download for five entire megabytes. Uh, and it's funny because the 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 data is actually five point six megabytes, but I'm pretty sure Steam compresses it. Let me try to like zip that or something. I'm pretty sure Steam. Yeah, then it's like four point five. Yeah, this is pretty much correct. 
And uh, Steam, the Steam uh, uh, Builder stuff is pretty pretty cool the way it diffs the files. I really like it. So that's it. We released. We have an app state release. And for my other app, let me show you guys here as well. That's pretty cool. This app that we're going to play this app today as well. We're going to play both of them. It's going to be really cool. This is like the, it's almost two years. It's a little bit over two years old. We released it on 15th of August, 2017. Uh, this has a huge discount. So let, let me see. Let me go to, yeah. Iliosis Hunt also released. Oh, awesome. So I have like two release apps. Can I, re yes, you can disable vSync. I'm going to have to, to make that up. Uh, if you go to your Steam, uh, Steam pay, uh, Steam uh, install folder, whatever. So like C program files, Steam, uh, common apps. So if you, uh, well, Steam apps, common. So if you go to your Steam, this is mine, right? If you go to your Steam uh, install location, you can go to break arcade games out. Then there's the config file. If you open up the config file, you can set the locked FPS to false. So that's how you unlock the FPS. So like it's gonna try to five megabytes next now. You already downloaded five megabytes, man? Are you sure? I, th I think we have to verify because I don't know what sort of, what sort of internet, internet connection you have, but because I don't know, this game has a lot of stuff in graph to me. The, the requirements for graphics is really hard. I tried to do that to, to be like, to have fewer requirements, but I had to do this requirement. So yeah. But, but I'm glad that you find it worth it. That's the point, man. That's, uh, that's kind of a joke, but it's not a joke. Uh, today, people have 60-bit computers, 64-bit computers. And, oh, yeah, only 1% use, use the 32-bit OSs. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, oh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. People, uh, if I go to, like, the Steam Hardware server, survey, just like uh, ADM244 said, I can see, like, how much RAM people have and stuff. If people have on, on average like eight gig, uh, gigs of RAM, why would you make your your game only take like two hundred fifty six? And it doesn't take like I'm not sure how much. Oh, let me just see. We're gonna play the game, but let me just see how much of RAM it actually takes. Probably nothing. Let's see. Uh oh, fifty three megabytes. Oh, because we're playing on four K. Yeah, since we're playing four K, it, it does need a lot for it to like the, the graphics and stuff. It's funny because since I, I didn't do the Steam SDK for this game, you can you can watch from the Steam page and it doesn't require Steam to be honest, which is a good thing I suppose. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to my to do and say, okay, we released the game on Steam. We did we did it, everyone. So yeah, what I was saying before we kind of got distracted is that now on the full playlist. Uh, you can now watch the entire development of a game from scratch. We developed the engine, the asset system, the rendering, uh, the config file stuff, crazy stuff. From scratch, all the way to the beautiful green button on Steam. That was awesome. That was really awesome. Thanks. Thanks to everyone that uh, that uh, helped me out on on stream.